Hello and welcome to this basic troubleshooting tutorial for Fluency. In this tutorial we're going to cover a couple basic troubleshooting methods to help you work around any problems you might encounter with Fluency. The first thing we're going to demonstrate is here in the target preview on occasion you'll get corruption where things will turn up missing or fonts will get changed in an in a unexpected way. And so one of the things we can do to correct this is click on the Refresh Preview button here at the top and do a yes. And now Fluency will use the source text along with our translations to try and rebuild the target preview. At this point, it's also worthy to note that uh, if you click on either the terminology label here or the translation memories label here, it will actually refresh these two windows as well. Uh, so if you are not seeing something you expect it to be in there, you can refresh those by clicking on those buttons as well. Uh, one of the other uh, things that some translators will encounter is when they go to save out their document. On occasion, Microsoft Word will not respond in a timely way and allow the person to save out their document. And so one of the workarounds that you can always use is to actually save to an RTF. If you save to an RTF file, you can then open this file with Microsoft Word and then resave it to a Microsoft Word or .doc file. Uh, you can also send RTF files to uh, users who are not using Windows, so people who use a Mac or Linux can also open RTF files. So that's one possible workaround. Another workaround is that here in the target preview, you actually have the text that you're wanting to save out. And so if we go here and do a control A to select all, and then a control C, again that's control A and control C on your keyboard, and go into Microsoft Word and open a new document here and do control V or paste. You'll see that we can actually pull our document right out of Fluency and paste it into Word. And then from here, of course, we can save out our document. One of the other things that we'd like to demonstrate here is if you're having problems uh, getting to your translation memories to save in the system, one of the things you may want to check here in translation memories, translation memory preferences, is that you have save translation unit checked. If this is not checked, Fluency will not save any translations into the database unless you turn that on or you click on save TMs. One of the other things to cover too with um, uh, catastrophic failure, see if your power goes out or you have uh, serious issues with fluency, maybe fluency crashes, uh, you can typically rebuild your translation by using translation memories. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate how that's done. We'll go ahead and do save TMs here real quick and save our work in there. Okay, so we'll close. And now let's assume that uh, Fluency has crashed or this, the computer has uh, been restarted. And we'll go in here and open our source file again. And now at this stage right here, we can translate using translation memory matches. Simply put, Fluency is now going to go to your database and try and find all the translation work you've already done and uh, automatically populate your your work or your translations into this document. Okay, and there we have it, 21 matches. And you'll see that rebuild it just from the translation memory alone. So that's one way you can work around it. Another thing you can do is if you're running into serious problems, you can save your translation progress at any point and Fluency will create an FTF or a Fluency translation file. Uh, usually right next to the original file that you started with. If you grab this and email it to us at support at westernstandard.com, uh, we're usually very quick on, in helping you uh, resolve the situation. Oftentimes we can open the FTF and uh, save out your translation for you and get that to you if you need to get it quickly to a client. And this concludes the troubleshooting tutorial. Thank you.